A Fort Wayne priest is placed on administrative leave following an allegation. He was tied to sexual abuse in his past. The allegation pertaining to a parish Father Joseph Gone was uh, serving in more than 20 years ago in another city. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Jackson. And I'm Tom Powell. We're glad you're here tonight. Fort Wayne's NBC News reporter Jeff Newmeyer has been following this story for us all day. It is triggering shock and concern for people in the congregation of Most Precious Blood Catholic Church here in the fort. Bishop Kevin Rhodes declined requests for interviews, but we got a statement that this past Tuesday, the Fort Wayne South Bend Diocese received an allegation of sexual abuse of a minor, which has been lodged against Father Joseph Gone. It was alleged to have occurred when Gone was the associate pastor at St. Anthony de Padua Parish in South Bend. The diocese has determined the allegation to be credible and has informed police. He just is a kind, generous man. I, I don't suspect anything of him being wrong. This member of the Most Precious Blood congregation, who also volunteers at the church, is convinced Father Gone is innocent. Oh, it can't be true. I know that in my heart. I just know it's not true. And me having all boys, it really does bother me. This woman, Amber, lives very near the church. She says she has no first-hand knowledge about any sexual abuse, but she says she has observed that the priest treats boys different from little girls who approach him at Most Precious Blood School. He just kind of shoes them off, but when a little boy has a conversation, he's all about it, touches them on their shoulder, arm around them, like, I've known something's been up for years. I've lived here for two years. He's starting his 14th year as pastor of Precious Blood. Father Gon's service as a priest dating back to the mid-1990s. His own father, who's now passed away, well known in the community. John Gon was a past principal and athletic director at Bishop Dwenger High School. We spoke with Mary Glowoski, who counsels victims from the local diocese who come forward with accusations of sexual abuse involving a priest. To make sure that they get what they need so that they can move towards healing. Um, the transparency also is for them to make sure they know exactly what's happening and when it's happening. Just to create a sense of real trust. I mean, it, the trust has been broken, so our hope is to create a sense of trust. Father Gaughan's case is being sent to the Vatican in Rome for adjudication. Jeff Newmeyer, Fort Wayne's NBC. Like all cases going through the criminal system, Father Gaughan is presumed innocent unless proven otherwise. Stay with us for the very latest on this developing story. We've brought you complete coverage of the accusations inside the diocese in the past and will continue to on the air, online, and on social media. Don't forget, you can get the latest with news and push alerts with the Fort Wayne's NBC News app.